Hi guys, welcome back. It's been a long time. I haven't uploaded anything in <clears throat> a year and a half. I thought that maybe it was time for another update. My cats are playing in the background. I don't know if you can see them. There's one right there. He's not really playing. The other one is. <laughs> yeah, right there. I have been on testosterone now for over three years. Tomorrow it's three years and two months. I'm gonna go over the changes that I did in like the previous videos. I only did them up until seven months and then at one and a half years I did it again. And now, oops, I'm gonna do it again. Change number one is the voice. I think I don't even remember how I used to do, do those videos. And this is not a good representation right now because I'm sick, but my voice I think does sound deeper than it used to. Change number two. I don't remember what that was, but maybe body hair or facial hair. Let's just do both. Both have increased for sure. I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but um, I have a lot more uh, chest hair and stomach hair as well. My facial hair is a lot more as well. I do shave it. I shaved it a few days ago. This is where I usually shave up to. So you can see the stubbles right here. These stubbles I get after two days of not shaving. Didn't shave all through November. I can show you a picture of what that looked like. Not good. Mostly over here it's really full, so it kind of looked like I had three chins. So that wasn't really pretty. <clears throat> the rest of it is also quite full, but up till here it doesn't fill fully yet. And my mustache, I shaved it off about a week ago, and it's really growing back already. See my arms? That's much more hair than before. Change number three and four since I did the body hair and facial hair in one. Fat distribution, maybe? That, I think, has pretty much stayed the same. I did lose a lot of weight, so my hips are narrower than they were. My shoulders, I don't know if they are wider, actually. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Change number five. Maybe that was libido. My libido is still higher than it was before testosterone, but... I'm not like a horny teenage boy anymore. I do still have a peak, so after I've taken my testosterone, I have to take it once every 12 weeks. After one or two weeks, usually, I get a peak, and then I'm really horny for about four or five, six days. My cat dropped his mouse. He wants me to throw it away for him. <laughs> Change number six. Oh, face. I do think that's changed, but mostly also because I lost weight. My bone structure maybe is more defined than it was before. I don't know, you, you can take a look. So, you know, you tell me. Change number seven. I remember talking about my hands and my feet getting bigger. My feet have definitely grown. Not a lot, but I was a size 38. And the Netherlands is a size 38, and I am now 39 40. Change number eight, emotions. I do think I'm more in touch with my emotions now. And maybe that's because testosterone is not building up because, you know, a, a second puberty. It's really just constant. And so it's a lot easier for me to now get access to my emotions. Change number nine, bottom growth. I find this so hard to compare because I do not know what it looked like at seven months. I obviously didn't show you, so I can't compare it. But I do think it has gotten bigger. But basically just the same way as it got bigger before. Just more. Change number 10. My um, hairline. <laughs> my hair used to go just like that, and now I'm really getting more bold. The hair itself has gotten thicker. I have more volume to hold than I did before testosterone. My hair was really like flat and dead before testosterone. Change number 11. No, what the hell? That's seven. Oh my god. Change number 11. No, that's 16. I can't count. Change number 11. That's 16 again! Oh my god, I hate myself! Change number 11. Passing. <coughs> oh god, that's disgusting. <clears throat> I swallowed it. I pass all the time right now. There's nothing to worry about for me anymore at all. And I'll come back to that. Change number 12. Sexuality. Leave that alone. Leave... I do think that has changed, and I don't know how much of that has to do with testosterone. I've been on T for over three years now, and most of the changes aren't really changing that much anymore. Leave that alone, you'll break it. Thank you. It's one of my favorite mugs. <laughs> and of course, I keep on changing up until like 10 years or so, but then the changes just become shorter. And can you please stop making that sound? It's disgusting. He's licking up my plate. Oh. 
just put that there. He always plays catch. This cat is a fucking dog. <laughs> I don't know how much testosterone has to do with my sexuality changing, because, um... <laughs> I don't know how much testosterone has to do with my sexuality changing, because I've been on T for- Do not put the mouse in my butt crack. Take it away. Why would you do that? I can't with these cats. I don't know how much testosterone has to do with my sexuality changing because I've been on T for over three years now. After, I think, two and a half years or three years, most of the changes just, you know, still happen, but very slow. And sexuality, I don't know. I think it's changed because it's just a fluid thing in general and because I become more and more comfortable with myself and so it's a lot easier to be open or more open towards these, you know, questions about yourself. I think it was one and a half years where I told you guys that I was so gay and now I'm like, well, yeah, but I have no clue what my sexuality is. In theory, I'm pansexual, but I've always said that. But maybe in reality I am as well. And honestly, I don't give a fuck. I'm definitely much more attracted to guys than to other people, but I'm attracted to other people, and I don't know if I ever told you this because it's really personal and maybe quite gross, but I f off to tits. And I've been doing that ever since I started testosterone, really, which was a new thing for me. Just porn in general was new because I hated porn, it was never my thing, and ever since testosterone, it's like... Not all the time, though, it still disgusts me. Change number 13, my gender identity. So this is where I'm gonna come back on the passing thing. I pass as a guy wherever I go outside. And I think that's kind of funny because the more I'm becoming comfortable with my body and with my self-image, the more I've been experimenting with my gender expression and my identity. And I've come to the conclusion, at this stage in my life at least, that I am also a woman. I came out as genderqueer almost five years ago, which for me meant that I was sometimes a guy, sometimes a girl, sometimes both. I slowly started to grow more towards boy instead of a girl. And I think this had to do with the fact that my body just screamed female. So there was almost no boy to be found, in my self-image at least. The more I would bind or uh, draw a fake mustache or something, I'd feel more like myself. And the thing is, I've always seen myself in this body with long hair and everything. That was always the mental picture I had of myself, ever since I was a kid. So I figured, I must be a guy, because that's the body I want. And so I went through a transition and I came out as a trans guy. But I've come to the conclusion now that I was quite right about my gender identity five years ago. I'm a guy and a girl, and both sometimes, only this time, my body makes a lot more sense. And I think... People on the outside will just think, oh, what a fucking faggot. <laughs> and it's okay if they think that. But for me, this is not me being a fag. This is not me being a feminine guy. This is me being also a woman. For now, my pronouns are still he, him. But I'm willing to experiment with she, her. I don't like it if people call me a man or go young man or this is my son, this is my brother. I prefer stuff like sibling and child and person. I think this is it for all the changes, on testosterone at least. Uh, I've had top surgery. Oh my god, you haven't seen that result yet. Well, I did just show this. This is my top surgery result. I had it one and a half years ago now. Thank you so much for watching. Happy holidays and a happy new year. Love you. Bye.